You're trying to endear yourself to him, to ingratiate yourself to him, to white society in one way or the other. This is why we don't just want money, you know what I'm saying, just so we can live better. We, we, we are looking for status. We think education makes us more white. We think going to school makes us more white. We think getting better job makes us more white. See, we don't want none of this stuff for the right reasons. We want it all because we think it pulls us closer to white folk. But at the same time, now we're getting back to our relationships with black women. At the same time, we act like we don't want no other woman but a black woman. It's it's weird. What, so what you want is, is a black woman in a white face. That's what you want. And what black women want is a black man in a white face. And because that's not a reality, we don't get along. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. This man did not take away my humanity and reduce me to a savage. And he doesn't have me to the point where I want to try to kiss his ass to, to ingratiate myself to him. I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm not going to do it. So because I'm stuck in this, this wasteland of reality, I don't really have no connection to my sisters. You know, you, you meet a black woman, you talk about doing something simple, you can't. They get online talking about how they don't want no man to bring them to get no coffee. He better not bring me to, to get no coffee. A white girl loves stuff like that. Asian girl loves stuff like that. You talk about let's go meet at Starbucks, man, talk. They down. If they like you, they down for it. A black woman don't want to do that, bro. Don't get it twisted. Those same black women that sit there talking about what you better do, let them find them a dude they like. Or the status, a dude that they respect, like a white boy. Let them same black women meet a white boy that shows an interest in, the, in them. They will pay for everything for that white boy. Pay for everything. That white boy won't have to lift a finger. They're gonna pay for everything for that white boy. But they're not gonna do that for you because it's really, it's not about where you are taking them. It's you. You are not good enough for her. So you need to bring her somewhere better. You need to prove yourself. You need to go way beyond average because you are a black man. That's what that's really about. Because if you was a white boy, they wouldn't ask for none of that. None of it. You wouldn't even need a job. They wouldn't ask for none of it. But here's the reverse. If you give it a non-black woman, she ain't going to ask for none of that. You wouldn't even need a job. So now you choose which one you want to deal with. The one that's going to make you work and work and work and still never care about you. Two years in, she gonna walk out on you. Three years in, walk out on you. You know what I'm saying? If you'd invested everything, all kinds of money and time and energy and everything. Or the woman that you don't have to invest nothing in that takes care of you. You tell me which one sounds the best to you. The one you gotta constantly strain to communicate with. The one that you is always a challenge. You always arguing. You always bickering. There's always tension. Or the one where you get none of that. You tell me which one you gonna deal with. You tell me. Because I've lost my ability to talk to sisters. To me, I, I, I said this long time ago, we only got two types of sisters. And if you want, you made three types. You got the ratchet, uh, Megan the Stallion type. And there's no judgment on Megan. I don't know what kind of woman she actually is. I'm just talking about her her, her public persona, her, her professional persona, right? You got the ratchet, Megan Thee Stallion type. You got the the the, the fake Erica Badu, Erica Badu pro-black type. We're talking about the old Erica Badu when she was singing, right? You got that, that fake, righteous, pro-black uh, Zaza Ali type. And then you got the, the coon type, the, 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 the one that's more about money and... and, 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 and climbing the corporate ladder and careers and all this stuff. That's the only three types you got. And none of those three ever deal with you as a human being. 
if you ain't getting loaded and smoking weed and doing all kinds of silly shit, the ghetto chick don't want you. I don't want her either though, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if you ain't sitting around here complaining about slavery and all this stuff, you know what I'm saying? And white supremacy and crying all the time about that, you know what I'm saying? And also not living, you know, cause they, they too good to do anything to have fun, which makes it a strain to deal with them. Cause what you gonna do? You can't ever live with them. You have no life. Everything becomes secretive. You know, everything becomes on the down low. You don't want to live like that, bro. You don't want nobody living like that. And at the same time, you got to always be complaining about stuff. Always crying. Always angry about stuff that didn't even happen. Claiming a history that's not even yours. And arguing against anybody telling you that it's not yours. That's them. The Uma Johnson crowd. You know what I'm saying? The women from his crowd. And then you got the bougie one. You damn sure can't deal with them because if you ain't white, you ain't right. You will never be right in their eyes because you're not white. So even if they like you a little bit, even if they deal with you, marry you for a little while, they're going to dump you and, and put you to the curb because you ain't white. The only thing they respect is the white man. So you got these three factions of black women and I can't, I can't get along with either of them. Because the one thing we don't have anymore is humans in our race none of us are just people we all identify with something you got people black people identify as being adols or some type of descendants of slaves you know what i'm saying pan-africanists you got other black people that identify with just trying to always move up the corporate ladder always move up, move up the social ladder you know what i'm saying they want to be more and more and more you know um then you got the religions you got the muslims you got the christians you got the hebrews you got the moors you know what i'm saying what you don't have is human. I have met so many women of other races that had not one ideology, non-idealistic. And you know what you get? And you know what happens with them? You get along with them. You know what end up happening? You end up having a good time with them because they don't have a belief system. Money, economics, this is all belief system. They don't have. These are forms of religion, the worship of economics, the worship of money. These are all forms of a religion. I've met so many non-black women that had none of that stuff. I haven't met a black woman like that, man. I would say, to be honest, I haven't met a black woman like that. Truly met one like this since the late 90s, since I came out of prison. Right around 2000, it all started changing. Right around 2000, all sort of changes. By 2005, it was done. By 2005, 2010, black women were no longer like that. So at least by, from 2010 to where we at now for the last 14 years, black women have been just strictly idealistic, idealogues, one way or another. And so most people hold, hold within themselves multiple ideologies that, that, that often conflict with each other at some level. So you got this, 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 this cluster fuck of beliefs inside of a human being and you never know what you're going to get from this person on any given day that's black women and that's why i lost my ability to talk to them y'all gonna hear me eventually like the video share the video subscribe to the channel till next time i'm out of here brother kush aka the black elf Salam.